Show. Dreadful. The Woody Show. The Woody Show debuted here in Los Angeles on April 21st, 2014. Wow. <laughs> so that was a little more than three years yep. ago yeah. at this point. And uh, let's just say the first nine months were rough. Rough, rough mm-hmm. waters. It was rough. Yeah. I mean, we were just we were up against so many things with... I mean, we inherited a 22nd place, you know, shift. Right. Nobody like, even knew the station was called Alt. Yeah, yeah. this this right. time this time slot on this radio station was in 22nd place. Yeah, we were up against you know these legends, mm-hmm. powerhouse Kevin and Bean, mm-hmm. Ryan Seacrest, mm-hmm. Big Boy. Right. You know, you did, the mm-hmm. list goes on and on. I mean, all these like shows that have been on the air and huge in Los Angeles. And I remember people telling me that. Uh, Coming to Los Angeles, taking this job was career suicide. Yeah, dumb move. Uh, and that just makes me professionally horny. I think I've told right, that yeah. story a number of times. Like I, I, I love challenges, but I know what needs to be done. At least I feel like I know what needs to be done. This is a show that on paper shouldn't work. You know, like if you listen to all the people in radio and they tell all you about experts, like yeah. yeah how to get ratings, and you sit down, and you listen to these people who are the quote experts. Like you look at what this show is and what we do. And it shouldn't work, but for whatever reason, it always has. And uh, I, I can't really explain it other than I think we have the right mix of people. Uh, the show has uh, m- you know, morphed in different ways, evolved in different ways over the years, whether it be adding people or, I can't say the word mature, but you know, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> keeping things fresh Evolving. and- Evolving. Right, no, exactly. Uh, so the, a... first, the first nine months were just basically a thousand chefs in the kitchen. Everybody who had a different idea. Nobody was talking to each other. So one person had an idea, and we had to go do that. And then another person had another idea, we had to go do it that way. The only thing that was consistent was our resolve. Mm-hmm. Of, we know we have something here. And the people who are into the show, the listeners. And that's where you guys come in. And that's why we're always going on. We must sound like your grandmother talking about how much we love you guys and appreciate you guys and everything else. And that's why we go out and we do these lunch meetups and yeah. things in Morongo. Yeah, right. And, you know, we, we, we look for any opportunity to get out there in front of the people who have helped us and who were there for us in those early stages. When, quite honestly, there were conversations going on behind the scenes about, like, what else are we going to do? And there it came to a point a little more than a year and a half ago where there was a, a real distinct possibility this radio station was going to go and become a country radio station, if you guys remember that. Mm-hmm. I do. And, uh, and that was a big thing. And the thing was, like, man, the momentum had already started with us yeah. and with the Woody show and how things were coming along. And so what happened was we shared that information and we did get in trouble about that because I don't know if we were supposed to discuss as like a strategic I'm thing. I'm sure but, we weren't. Hey, you know what? What do I have to lose? Right. What are you going to do? Yeah. Fire me? If yeah. you go country, you're not keeping me anyway. So what yeah. do I care? Right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that that really was kind of a spark. And you guys got behind the show and you listened an extra five minutes and you told other people about the show. And then... The show that started in 22nd place, very shortly after all these talks started happening, we hit number one for the first time. And we have not not been number one ever since. It's right. in, it's insane to me. Like, yeah. I never thought, like, I thought that we would do okay. I never thought that we would hit number one. Number I thought, one. Yeah. Like, I thought for ever, sure, let alone quickly. I'll be honest. I, th- I thought for sure that we would end up beating uh, a show like Kevin and Beans, only because... Mm-hmm. You know, they had been around so long, and, you know, I, I, th- I think kind of mentally in a lot of ways, I think they're probably tired. Yeah. And they're already, I mean, Bean already moved not only to Seattle, and now he's moved all the way over to New Orleans. I right. Mean, yeah. And I got nothing but respect for those guys, but I, th- I saw it as a winnable battle is what I'm mm-hmm. saying. And I, so I, cu- I couldn't believe that not only did we do that, but then also we went on even further, and the show continues to grow. And that has been 100%, you know, us showing up every day, but then also mm-hmm. you guys... Supporting yeah, us. Yeah, you guys showing up every day too. Yeah. Yes. Our very first event, ten yeah. people showed up. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so we made the announcement, and the, this got the attention of all the corporate muckety mucks and everything else. And so um, they decided not to go country. We made that announcement at our Christmas party, like I said, about a year and a half ago, and we announced that we had signed a contract for three more years, which that seemed like such a long time. Right. We are only a year and a half into that three-year three. agreement right now. However, things have grown to such a point, and you guys have helped us get to that so quickly and in such a, an impressive fashion that the company tore up the last year and a half of our contracts. And this is going to be bad news for all the people that hate the show and who keep talking about, like, you guys are going to be gone any day now. Right. 
But uh, I am happy to announce, ladies and gentlemen, that the Woody Show has reached a new long-term agreement with iHeartMedia, and we are now your problem for another five years. Yeah. 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 Five years. <laughs> yeah. So we decided. So really, it's it's five and a half. Right. Yeah. It's, right. it's to the end of 2022. Whoa. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, you see, like those movies that are coming out, and the dates are so so yeah, far away. Yeah, totally. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Avatar. Wow, you yeah, could have exactly. grandchildren by then. Avatar We're gonna be here when Star Wars Land opens. Yeah. 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 So, like, this is like a five and a half year long term agreement, and uh, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just give you the the lowdown with the press release. This has again been a process that's been going on for months now. This has been so much anxiety for me and for everybody on the show and uh-huh. everything else because we really wanted this to work out, but. Uh, The press release reads as follows. iHeart and uh, The Woody Show announced new long-term contract. Under the new agreement, The Woody Show will be syndicated nationally by Premier Networks. That's the other piece of information here is that not only did we sign a deal with iHeart Media, we also signed an agreement for our national syndication with Premier Radio Networks. Mm -hmm. And so we're super excited about that. Uh, iHeartMedia, the leading company in America with a greater reach in the U.S. than any other radio or television outlet today, announces an exclusive long-term agreement with its noted Los Angeles morning personality, Woody, to renew and expand his relationship with the company. Under the new five-year agreement, Woody will continue his current role as host of the top-rated The Woody Show on Alt 98.7, L.A.'s new alternative. In addition, The Woody Show will now be syndicated nationally by Premier Networks, extending its reach to a vast array of new markets and listeners. Woody will continue to work with iHeartMedia on a variety of joint ventures and new creative projects and collaborate with iHeartMedia's National Talent and Programming Division on audio, event, mobile, and digital assets. Since joining the iHeartMedia team just three years ago, Woody and The Woody Show have made an incredible impact on listeners across Los Angeles, says Bob Pittman, chairman and CEO of iHeartMedia. See, that's that. That's where things have gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now we are getting uh, the biggest quotes. Biggest is the big. We're getting quotes <laughs> exactly yeah. in the press release from the guy who runs the company. He doesn't get mm-hmm. he used to be that. like the killer, right? Yeah. Sure, killer. <laughs> yeah, and he would mess up the emails. Yeah. Uh, with their unique blend of real life chemistry and unadulterated humor, they have become staples of the radio landscape in Los Angeles. This partnership is the latest in our continued commitment to providing diverse and relevant programming to radio listeners across the U.S and we're thrilled to bring their incredible talent to listeners nationwide. Woody is a 20-year radio veteran who worked in New York, Chicago, San Francisco, St. Louis, and Portland. He began his career while still in high school when he became a nighttime on-air personality in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. While in San Francisco, Woody joined real-life friends Ravy, Menace, and Greg Gorey on air for what would later become The Woody Show. Broadcasting weekday mornings, The Woody Show is highly interactive, socially engaging appointment radio. Remember that, Sagaz? Uh-huh. I sure do. You, you yeah. guys helped us write this. Yeah, yep. they did write yep. it. Listeners, in their own words, call The Woody Show authentic, raw, and unapologetic and describe it as recess happy hour on the radio. Mm-hmm. The Woody Show came to Alt 98.7 in April 2014 from St. Louis, where they held the number one position in key demos during their tenure in the market. Prior to that, the show also saw success in Chicago and San Francisco. In 2016, The Woody Show was a National Association of Broadcasters Marconi Award uh, finalist for Major Market Personality of the Year. In addition to currently broadcasting on Alt 987 in Los Angeles and Alt 1049 in St. Louis, The Woody Show is also available on the iHeart Radio and the iHeart Mobile app. Uh, iHeart Media support and belief in The Woody Show has been unwavering, and I want to thank Bob Pittman, Rich Bressler, Tom Pullman, Greg Ashlock, Kevin Legret for this once in a lifetime opportunity, said Woody. That's me. Yay. That's you. Yay. Yeah, I know that guy. Not only am I excited to continue building on what we've done here in Los Angeles, but now with Premier Networks, it gives us the opportunity to impose our will on the unsuspecting establishment from coast to coast. Coming at ya. Hey-o. Boom. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Woo. Booyah. Okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Again, you guys. Rip. Uh, I, I can't thank everybody enough. We are beyond excited. It's been killing us not to be able to share this news with you earlier. We wanted Oof. to originally share it weeks ago, but then mm-hmm. we wanted to share it last week in Morongo. And it just, uh, there's so many moving pieces and oh, things God. that have to come together. But man, it, it doesn't matter if we're on one station or a billion stations. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tell you what, man, the LA audience, the San Francisco audience, yeah. you guys are the OGs it's for the totally. Woody Show. It's yeah. And yep. uh, I can't thank you guys enough. So on behalf of everybody here, yes. uh, thank you to iHeartMedia. Thank you to the company. And we're looking forward to uh, to just, you know, I, I, like I said, just imposing our will yep. and just doing things our way. And thank you again. 